So you're ready to lead people. Question is, where are you leading them to? Welcome everybody and thanks for making the commitment to become one of the great leaders of tomorrow. I open today's video with a question. Where are you leading people to? And by that I mean, what is your purpose? What is your goal? What is the end state you're after? And why is that important? In other words, what is the mission you're trying to achieve in life? When you look through history, all of our great leaders had a mission. They had a purpose or a problem they were trying to solve to make the world a better place. And they put their heart and soul into achieving that mission. Now you're probably saying, Jason, you're crazy. I don't have this grand mission in my life. My boss gave me a thing to do. He gave me a couple people to help me out. And really, all I've got to do is get people moving in the right direction and get this thing done. And what I want to tell you today is that the best way to get those folks moving in the, in the right direction, the direction you want them moving in, is to come up with a clear, concise mission statement that you have framed clearly in your mind and can articulate to, their, to your team and they can remember. So to get you in the right frame of mind for crafting your mission statement, let's look at a few examples. So the first example we'll talk about is Google. And their mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. So you see, they've recognized that there's a problem. There's just an absolutely insane amount of information out on the internet. And they're good trying to make it useful to everybody out there. The second example we'll talk about is when Steve Jobs was creating the iPod back in the early 2000s. And his mission statement that he came up with when he was trying to get Apple to create this iPod was 1,000 songs in your pocket. It doesn't come much more concise and clearer than that. Finally, in the early 1960s, John F. Kennedy said, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. So here was a grand mission, a grand purpose, a time frame he wanted to achieve it in, and the conditions under which he wanted to do that. And that's a very clear and concise mission statement that we still talk about to this day. So I know this can be intimidating at first, and I don't want you to worry about that. When I was first getting out of the Air Force and starting my company, I knew I wanted to do something with leadership, but I didn't know exactly how to put that into words. And it was a really tough time in our country when I did that. The government was shutting down, the economy was terrible, people were losing their jobs, and I just knew I wanted to do something to help make the world a better place and to create some leaders who are going to act like leaders and solve our problems. Finally, I came up with the mission statement to create a generation of leaders focused on solving the problems that are faced by their communities, dedicated to making the world a better place, and committed to the personal and professional development required to be a great leader. But that only came after a lot of thought and self-reflection and a lot of time. So I don't want you to worry about it if you can't boil down your life's purpose or mission into a couple of statements right now. If you have an idea of what you want to get out there and do, but you can't put it into words, listen to your team, listen to your community, see what the problems are that they're facing and need to have solved. Talk to your mentors and your peers and your bosses. They've done this before. They can help you put this into words. If you have created a mission statement, that's great. Put it in the comments, show it to us, let everyone see what a great mission statement you've come up with. If you're struggling with this a little bit, that's okay, contact us, we'll help you out. We'll help you put together that mission statement. Later on in the week, we're gonna have a little bit more on how to put your mission statement into words and to really clearly articulate it. So check back at the website. The link is below this video. Um, and really the easiest way you can get our content is to hit that subscribe button. It'll come straight into your inbox. I wanna thank you all for watching. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.